Hey guys, so I wanted today to do like a Google autocomplete kind of video. I feel like no one knows shit <laughs> about uh, like witches, witchcraft, that kind of stuff. So I was like, might as well. Might as well make a video and I was like, dude, like frequently asked questions. But no one knows, so no one asks. So. I thought I would just do this. My boyfriend compiled this PowerPoint and I don't know the questions, so I am pretty excited to see what happens. I'm kind of nervous, to be honest. I don't know what it's going to say, so I'm like, what if I don't know the answer to it? We got some good questions. Um, I feel like people are asking me important things. So first question, are witches immortal? Um, <laughs> no. <laughs> like, no. No, they're not. Um, witches are just people who are, like, really in tune with their, um, like, abilities and their, you know, I mean, it's, it's just using herbs for their medicinal qualities in the same way that people use marijuana for medicinal qualities. And, you know, like, kind of getting past this realm, like, you know, communicating with, like, ghosts and shit, so they're just people, uh, <laughs> I like that question, though. Are witches and wizards the same? So I actually don't know, I'm pretty sure that, uh, regardless of gender identity, people, like, witches is, which is gender neutral, so, like, regardless of gender identity, I, so I don't think wizard is, like, a thing, but it might be, so, like, if you're a wizard, I'm sorry, I'm not trying to, like, you know, devalue you, I don't know. I don't know, I'm not a wizard, I don't know. I, I just know that there are male witches, there are non-binary witches, there are people of all gender identities who consider themselves witches. So, yes, I don't know, I don't know. Ah. Are witches vegan? This is actually a really interesting question. Um, I am not vegan. Um, a lot of witches are vegan, and a lot of times it does go into the practice because, like, like, just like a witch thing is like, don't be an asshole, like, that's basically the main rule, like, be good to the environment, like, basically make it better than you came. So, I do see why a lot of witches are vegan, because, you know, that is, like, part of their belief system, but this is the thing about witches, is like, they're, they all, you can be a Christian witch, you can be a Muslim witch, you can be, you know, a Wiccan witch, you can be all these different kinds, all these different backgrounds, so it's like, some witches are, but, again, some witches like view everything in the world as like given to us to like use so a lot of people do eat meat and they just are thankful for like that and they're respectful obviously they don't just go like hunting and then just like you know like trophy i guess is that what that's called like trophy hunting i don't know so i feel like if a witch goes hunting they'll pro they'll eat it like they're gonna like they're respectful is what i'm saying um do witches have wands yeah they do actually yeah 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 it's actually um I will link you guys to Harmony Nice. She's the most educational Wiccan witch out there. She's so smart. I just bought her book. She's so, so smart. She does a whole video on wands um, and explains it. I do not have a wand. I don't feel like I know enough to, to like make a wand, to have a wand yet. I have like a selenite wand, like some crystal wands and stuff like that. But yeah, wands are actually a real thing used by witches to kind of direct energy because like you guys know, you're a person, you know that people have energy, you can, you know, you give someone a compliment, you're transferring them like positive energy. It's as simple as that and so it's just kind of using, really being in touch with your body and using your energy through that and using that as like a director or something to pull in. I don't know what that word would be, but yeah, so they do, they do. Um, do witches worship Greek gods? Yeah, actually, they do. A lot of witches have deities, and many of them are Greek, so, um, and I think that's more of a Wicca thing, and because there's a difference between witches and Wicca, but, um, yeah, a lot of witches do worship Greek gods, and not all of them, of course. Some of them worship Jesus, some of them, you know, it's just super, like, it's super personal and, like, you know, different for everyone, so, yeah. Good question, Google. What are witches afraid of? I mean, like, probably what you're afraid of. Like, I don't know. Um, like, bad spirits, probably. Like, if you want to get down to, like, witches and, like, a, like, what they, you know, work with, they're probably afraid of, as a whole, 
negative energy, but I mean some witches work with dark energy and that's not my thing. I don't know anything about that, but yeah, yeah. So I would say like as a witch, I'm afraid of like accidentally conjuring some bullshit. Like, <laughs> like I'm, I don't know like as much as many, many, many people. So yeah, I don't want to conjure anything <laughs> bad. What are witches pets called? Um, they're called pets. <laughs> There is a thing called familiars, which is like different than a pet, which is where like a spirit of someone or like a spirit guide or something will come to you in the form of an animal. Um, but it's not like all witches' pets, but that's probably like what they're referring to, I'd assume. What are witches' runes? So runes are tools for divination, which is kind of like telling the future and whatnot and communicating with the other side. Um, I don't know that much about runes, I actually just bought a rune book because, let me tell you guys, I was at a campfire with my boyfriend and he turned to me and he's like, babe, what does it mean if a rune appears in a marshmallow? I was like, I don't know, <laughs> what? And so he showed me and I'll put the picture here. There was like a rune in my marshmallow and so I was like, I don't know, so I had to like research runes and try to figure out what the fuck it was because like, I didn't know, I have not studied runes, I do tarot. I feel confident with tarot, but I've never done runes. I've never, yeah, I've never done runes. So, I mean, it's a tool for divination. It's like little alphabets that tell you things. I only know the R one, because that's the one I researched, but yeah. How witches can help Black Lives Matter. Hell yeah, my dudes. I love that. Okay, so actually there's been a lot of stuff in the witchcraft community online. Um, of like meeting at the same time wherever you're at for meditation or intention like I said I mean you guys know regardless of your experience with witches or witchcraft that like having good thoughts like makes good things happen like that is true like your brain really does influence things in your thoughts you really can speak these into actions you can speak them into truth so um there were a number of spells and intentions happening for protection of protesters and people of color all around the world and you know there's a lot of stuff if you look into astrology currently we have a lot of planets who have not been where they're at since the american revolution since the civil war since rome fell <laughs> so there's like a lot of stuff to that um but yeah which is gonna help black eyes matter in a number of ways i think just doing what I would recommend is like protection spells for those protesting or those on the front lines or, you know, black people in general. But yeah, having good intentions, you know, because we are all like connected and all of our thoughts really do influence each other. So, yes. How witches look? <laughs> what? I don't know. I know I look typical. I have my dark hair and my pale skin, but I'm just Swedish, so I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. Witches look different, dog. <laughs> can witches teleport? So, like, no, tentatively. You can astral project, but anyone can astral project if you just, like, read about it and try it. Astral projection is something that I have not done yet. I'm really good at lucid dreaming, but never astral projected. I'm honestly kind of scared to do that because I feel like that's terrifying. <laughs> are Wiccans polyamorous? Um, some Wiccans are not all of them as you know uh i don't think your relationship has to do with your religion or um like your your preference but i mean wiccans can be poly polyamorous but i am not so um are wiccans and pagans the same so no they're not so pagan is just a um non-mainstream nature-based religion and it's it's not in itself it's kind of like a group and wicca is like a sector so wicca is a pagan religion but pagan there's a lot of pagan religions and like there's you know you can have so no they're not the same are wiccans polytheistic yes wiccans often times will worship a god and a goddess and kind of go for like greek gods or nordic gods or gods from their um like genetic background so yeah they can be but again like witch wicca and witchcraft it's very like it's very different per person so it's like kind of hard to give a definite solid answer 
Are Wiccans devil worshippers? No, they're actually not. I love this. Um, people really do think that, but that's not true. Um, Wiccans and Satanists are two different things. Wiccans do not worship the devil. They, um, like I said, like I literally just said, worship gods and goddesses. And yeah, they don't, I mean, most Wiccans don't work with the devil. I think some probably do, but I'm going to say overall, no on that one. Do Wiccans celebrate Christmas, Halloween, Easter, etc.? A lot of them do. Yeah, I mean, well, a good thing to note is that a lot of these, like, very modern holidays are actually come from, wait for it, pagan religions. Yes. So, yeah, Christmas does come from Yule, which is a pagan um, holiday. So, yeah, I was actually at work one day and I told a person I was Wiccan and they're like, oh, you know, I like Wiccans are cool because I'm Christian. I know you guys take a lot of our stuff and you know, you make it your own. And I was like, oh, I got bad news for you, buddy. I got bad news. <laughs> Pagan holidays existed before this like Christmas, Halloween, Easter type of deal. So Christmas is Yule. Halloween is, oh my God, did I fucking forget what it's called? Halloween. What? Oh, I forget how to say it. That's why I didn't remember it. Oh, guys, I don't know how to say this. It looks like Samhain. But I think it's pronounced like Samhain? Guys, listen. I don't speak this out loud. I don't have any Wiccan friends, really. So, I don't know. Um, and Easter would be like Beltane. So, most of these holidays all have their pagan roots. So, yeah, I guess they do. And some, I mean, I celebrate Christmas. My family is Christian, so of course I, f I celebrate Christmas. I love Halloween. La noche de brujas. La noche de brujas. Do Wiccans believe in reincarnation? Um, yeah. I, I, I don't want to speak for everyone here. Like, I don't, I don't want to speak for everyone, but I believe in reincarnation. Um, pretty sure most Wiccans believe in reincarnation. Uh, I always have, I used to think I was like Buddhist because a lot of my views aligned with Buddhism. But then I read about this. I actually took a test like two years ago, like what your religion is. And it said Wicca. And I was like, I'm not a, I'm not a witch. I'm not a devil worshiper. No, never, never would do that because I was so misled. And I think a lot of people are. Do Wiccans worship the moon? Yeah, they actually kind of give gratitude to all of the earth and the sun and the moon and the stars. So yeah, they work and they follow with the moon's cycle from waxing to waning and all that jazz. That's actually like one of my favorite things. Got my little moon girl up there from Mexico. Um, do Wiccans have churches? I don't know, guys. No, no, no. No, they don't. I don't think they do. No, they don't. I'm pretty, I'm like 90% sure they don't. Um, you can have a coven, which is just like a group of, Wic of Wiccans or witches, and um, you guys can meet. What is Wiccan magic? So, Wiccan magic, I mean, this is, I don't know, like, there's so much. I feel like I've talked about a little bit of it. It's basically intentions. It's basically manifestations. Working with nature, because it's a nature-based religion, so working with all your herbs, all your elements, and, you know, using those to kind of provoke a physiological reaction. Another similar question, what is Wiccan belief? Uh, I just, <laughs> I feel like I just said that. But like I said, many Wiccans believe different things. There's the 13 rules of a Wiccan, and then there's the Wiccan read, which are basically like the guidebook, like the Bible, if you will, but not really. It's basically just like, be nice to the earth, don't be an asshole to people, like be good to yourself and others. Be chill. Be chill and be chill. How Wiccans celebrate summer solstice, austera, Samhain, I believe. I, God, I swear. That's how Harmony says it, I'm pretty sure. But guys, it's okay if I'm saying it wrong. I know I'm saying it wrong, it's fine. Um, basically, there are a ton of different ways. Usually it'll be some kind of meditation, some kind of like ritual. Um, 
a lot of times people will cook and that's something I love for Letha a couple weeks ago I made these lemon herb cookies and it's kind of just a way to integrate like the, the natural foods of the season into your food kind of making it kind of like an event I mean just like how you would celebrate anything you make Christmas cookies with like sugar and and whatnot you make pumpkin pie and stuff it's literally the same it's just like making them using the herbs and the earth to make some dish and um yeah like summer solstice you'll spend time in the sun it's just it's literally what you do during these times you're just kind of really being more mindful about how you're celebrating the earth and you know yeah how many wiccans are there someone's on to us <laughs> Um, like a lot, <laughs> like a lot more than you think for sure. Like, yeah. Can Wiccans drink alcohol? Hell yeah. Yeah, they can. A lot of times alcohol is used in spells or, you know, different kind of meals you make for celebrations and holidays. So yeah, they can. Can Wiccans do voodoo? Yeah, so there are a couple of different sectors of voodoo and hoodoo which I believe are closed practices, which, and I'm not certain, but I'm pretty sure. And a closed practice is basically, it's like a cultural thing, and unless you were born into that culture or are taught by a native person, then it's like, you really, really, really should not mess with it because like, it's a serious thing. Like you, it's, it's not good. If you're not of that culture, it's incredibly disrespectful. And if you believe in such, the spirits will be fucking pissed. So you really don't want to do that. You're basically hexing yourself if you disrespect an entire religious practice like that. So please do your research. Don't, 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 don't do anything crazy. <laughs> what is witchcraft in Spanish? Brujeria is witchcraft in Spanish. <laughs> How witchcraft is acquired? <laughs> How is it acquired? I don't know. You just fucking do it. Just do it and it's acquired. <laughs> you men. <laughs> Guys, what are you doing? What are you doing on Google? Who did who did this? Why? What man like needed to ask that? Uh, and I'm not trying to be mean. Who was like, I think someone put a hex on me. <laughs> someone put a hex on my penis. Um, I mean, honestly, like, you could probably hex someone into having erectile dysfunction. Like, that's definitely probably a thing you can do. I don't do hexes. I don't work with any kind of, like, hex. Not to, like, disrespect anyone who does. Like, do your thing. I don't fucking care what you do. But I personally don't just because I don't know why. I don't know. I don't know. That's not my thing. That's not my thing. Oh my god, that's all. Guys, that was fun. Did you guys have fun? Did you guys learn something? Whew. So yeah, I thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, thank you for thank you for letting me answer your questions. Your most asked questions about witchcraft e brujeria e all that stuff. So Thank you so much. I love you guys, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.